you know him well from your work for the Nyakos family. How, why do you think his pedigree is so special? Well, of course, he's by Dubawi out of a very distinguished uh, Nyarcos family. So one thing for sure is that horses with great pedigrees who had group one form, have a they, big, have a, they have a big edge when it comes to standing at stud in some of the smaller jurisdictions like South Africa. So uh, in, in a way, I would expect him to be kind of more of a Silvano type of horse. I mean, he, he went a mile and a half. He was very effective at a mile and a quarter. Uh, but he was a proper group one horse and a group one winner. And, uh, you know, being by Dubawi, uh, you've always got the possibility that that's going to speed him up a little bit. Uh, but uh, in any event, uh, he's a horse that we think is going to make a big, big uh, impression down there. The, the true group one horses, uh, when you put them, when you put them in these smaller jurisdictions, this horse could sire five furlong two-year-old winners, and it wouldn't be any kind of a surprise because class trumps everything. And this horse had the class. Stretch. Here goes Dartmouth to join world approval, and on the outside erupt, making a line of forest. Wake Forest erupt has done just that, and it is erupt coming away, erupt in front and is drawing off Dartmouth in second, and they're not catching Erupt. Erupt has been tremendous to win by a leg. He's got such a great pedigree. I mean, uh, you know, Dubawi has, Dubawi is going to be a very successful sire of sires. There's no question about it. And with a pedigree like his, these horses that have, these stallions that go to stud that have the great pedigrees and are out of the good mares, they do have an edge. It, you're looking for horses that will add class to these mares. And the most important thing about Erupt is he is going to add class because he had the class himself.